I know. I'm about as intermittent as an intermittent thing can get. However, here I am. Yes, I'm wearing the, the pink palette from that little Timu purchase that I was talking about. And yes, we are still looking at something that's got the name Miss Laura and Ultimate on it and has the Beauty Bay logo on the pants. Like I said, when I did this with, some, with the other two palettes, I got Beauty Bay payoff for two bucks a palette. Just a little too much weird for me. Anyway, how's everybody? No, I haven't sold the house yet. No, we haven't picked out the new house yet. Yes, I want somebody to come by the house. Hurry up. Y'all, like, take up a collection or something and just buy us out, and then you can, like, rent it like half of the people who come to see it want to do. Anyway, how's everybody? Thought I'd ask. Um, I've been having a think, because, like, I've got a whole lot of not else to do right now, because we're mostly packed. We're kind of camping, in a way. We've got a few sets of clothes and, you know, a few dishes. And, you know, it's the stuff that's going to go in the vehicle we drive once we take care of getting that and all that stuff. So, yeah. so you know, there's not a lot going on. That's how that works. But I was thinking, again, I know it's, it's a silly thing, but I was going, you know, I really like this primer. I really do. I like this primer. This is the Power Grip Primer. No, it is not the one with the skin care in it. Why? Other than just to be able to say they put skin care in it, why would they do a primer with skin care in it when it's not going to get through all the layers you've already put on? I mean, let's be real. You have all of your serum stuff. And what is it, niacinamide that they put in it? You have all your serum stuff. And that's already on. And then you've put, put your heavier weight stuff on. And then you put your sunscreen on, which you're not putting like two little dabs of sunscreen. You're putting sunscreen on your face and then letting everything soak in and settle down before you start the next layers. That skincare stuff is not going to get through your armor first. And it's like, okay, and then I've got the e.l.f. primer that's got the extra sunscreen in it, which, yeah, it's cute, but if you try to replace your regular sunscreen with that particular product, it's not going to work. You have to put way too much of that primer on your face to get your sunscreen level and then it stays i tried it okay i just for my own curiosity i tried it and it just it stays thick it stays sticky it stays awful it's just nasty 
and it's like and if you put anything else over it once it's that thick on there so that you don't have to put a different sunscreen on once you put that stuff on there thick enough to account for all your sunscreen issues it's not really a primer anymore and it yeah, anything else that you try to put on top of it is going to slide off slide off now I have been able to on occasion because the stuff is tinted slightly I will do the little dabs and then take a brush and smear it out like you would any other product like that that you're not worried about your sunscreen because that's already on your face and I have been able to get away with that particular product just as a you know you got three minutes get out the door foundation coverage occasionally I will powder it if I've got another two minutes but why okay yeah it makes a great sound bite on an advert it sounds like they're doing something special for us on an advertisement but um, it's a gimmick love you elf but it's a gimmick you know it's if I want more facial goo you know skin care on my face I'll put more facial goo on my face at the appropriate time for the weight of the facial goo you know put the serums on first I don't know if you heard that galloping or not but that's our big dog who we ended up kind of it was it, it was a fostering fail we'll just go with that it was a fostering fail um good thing he's cute but it, it, the whole thing is just if you've already got your regular skincare routine and you're putting on your serums and you're putting on your vitamins and that's usually the first thing after you do your your wash and toner and then you put your moisturizers on to hold everything together and then you put your sunscreen on I do believe that that much armor is doing you just fine you don't need to pay extra for skin care in primers and foundations that are never going to get to your skin it's like yeah no like I said with the the, the um, sunscreen and primer cream that elf came out with it literally because it's supposed to be a glowy formula it is slick if you try to put that on thick enough to be sunscreen and then try to put anything else over it not gonna happen so yeah I figured I'd talk some makeup for a few minutes it's, it's been forever and you know okay maybe you want to know whether or not I've sold the house yet maybe not but no haven't we've gotten one offer which we barely dignified with a response And it was like, uh, no. <laughs> it's like you don't come in and offer, you know, the, the, 
Now, this is dating myself something fierce, but this is not Filene's basement, okay? Mm -mm. We are not playing, you know, this is not a car boot sale. This is not a yard sale. In, it, in as much as it's not selling anything that's laying on the lawn, it's, you know, the yard goes with the house. So, no, we're like, and the big dog doesn't. Hold on. I got to show you this. There's the big doofus. There is the big doofus. And there's the little old girl. She's 15. And just getting crunchy and creaky. This moose over here. This moose. I'm normally scared to death of big dogs. I really am. I beg your pardon if I'm making anybody seasick with this. Alright, that looks about right again. But, yeah. And yeah, you got to see my messy room. Where my old dog lives on the bed pretty much. And that's the new big dog who's about three years old. Our little bitty tiny dog passed away so and then we took Galoot in on a on a kind of a fostering thing and then ended up keeping him. <sighs> I'm usually scared to death of big dogs but if you go to give this thing a treat he sits down and very calmly waits for you to hand him the treat and then like a lot of other hunting type dogs he's got that soft mouth for picking up you know whatever's been hunted and it's like he's part pit bull or pibble as I like to call him and part blue tick and part we don't know but he came out with a brindle saddle and he's, even though he's blue tick, his, his, his ticking is very dark. Um, and he's just a big slobber box and he's huge. I do mean huge. He can stand up on his hind legs and put his feet on my shoulders. Huge. So, yeah, big dog. He's a big goof. Little Miss Lolly is just, she's decided she's, she's a retired lady. And she just like, you come over to, to talk to her for anything and she just rolls over on her back, says, here, scratch the belly. You know, you have to like go wake her up to remind her to go outside. <laughs> It's like, yeah, she's, she's old and tired. Well, she's still my angel baby. When she was born, and when we first got her, she, she was the cream color, the beige cream color, but she had a light, light, light double patch across her shoulders that literally looked like angel wings. So, she's the angel baby. Anyway, other than that, there is not really a whole lot going on. It just isn't. Um, we're kind of trying to stay cool, calm, collected, and otherwise um, not sitting here staring at all the listings of all the places we would like to be. Um, we do that, but we try to not do it all the time. 
and we spend time chasing around behind the grandkids to make sure they keep the place picked up so that it doesn't take long to get ready for a showing and all that kind of stuff. Other than that, we're just hanging in and every so often I play with my makeup and I figured what the heck, since I hadn't shown the pink palette yet, I'd like connect while I had it on. Like I said, I've got an issue with with the way Timu did these palettes. But I can't say that Timu actually did anything because they're getting it from vendors. I don't know about these vendors. And I am probably going to be a little more careful about checking the information on any makeup I get or much of anything else. A little more cautious about doing a checkup before I put my check down, you know. Anyway, that's all the news that's print to fit. We know about news that nowadays, don't we? Anyway. Bye.